The Mi-B-12 helicopter, designed by the famous Mill Design Bureau, is the largest helicopter ever produced, with a maximum takeoff weight nearly double that of the Mi-26. Although it was developed in the 1960s, no other helicopter has been able to surpass it to this day. During the 1950s and 1960s, helicopters were at a peak period of development, when the greatest technological advances in their structure and power occurred. The gas turbine engine, as a small and powerful power source, paved the way for the large-scale development of helicopters. In 1965, the Mill Design Bureau began designing the Mi-V-12, not as a mature aircraft model, but more to verify the large-scale development of helicopters. Considering the international situation at the time, it was like a prestige project, intended to break world records and become the world's number one. To obtain huge carrying capacity and loading space, the helicopter adopted a unique structural layout. The main fuselage is similar to the body of a large fixed-wing aircraft and has a cigar-shaped overall appearance, with a vertical tail and a horizontal wing at the rear instead of traditional back or head tail arrangements. Two rotor systems are used, arranged side by side with the engines between them. On the lateral traverses far from the fuselage, a pair of five-bladed all-metal rotors are arranged, with the left rotor rotating clockwise and the right rotor counterclockwise when viewed from above. They are driven by two A25 bolt shaft engines placed side by side below the rotors, each with a maximum power of 4,770 kilowatts to prevent loss of power in one engine causing the rotor on one side to lose power. The power on both sides is also connected through a coordination axis so that even in extreme conditions, the aircraft can make an emergency landing with single engine power without incurring significant losses. The cockpit is located above the nose of the helicopter and has a six-person crew, including the pilot, co-pilot, mechanic, electrician, navigator, and radio operator. The only humanized configuration is a rubber leaf fan that can provide cooling to the crew. Advanced electronic equipment is equipped with a terrain radar under the nose, which is helpful for flight. The all-metal semi-hard shell fuselage has a cargo compartment 28 meters long that can carry 120 passengers or corresponding cargo, with a clamshell-style cargo door and loading ramp at the tail. There is no standard answer to the specific weight of goods that the aircraft can transport, but the cargo compartment is equipped with an electric hoist that can lift a total of 10 tons of cargo from four lifting points. In 1969, the aircraft set a record for carrying an effective load of 40,000 kilograms. If altitude is not a factor, the aircraft can directly transport a 41-ton T-72 main battle tank making it the undisputed leader in the field of heavy-lift helicopters. 